good morning my dear students yesterday we have finished chapter number 5 and today we will begin with chapter number 6 that is diagrammatic presentation of data please follow the work as i am giving you in videos okay so in this chapter we will study about meaning types of diagrams bar diagrams simple and multiple bar diagrams and difference between simple and multiple bar diagrams so let's begin with its definition of diagrammatic presentation of data it is a geometric technique of presenting numerical information through bar diagrams pie diagrams pictograms or cartograms that is known as diagrammatic presentations of data these are types of diagrams though it is not in your book but i still give you for extra information so one dimensional diagrams are also known as line diagram simple diagram multiple bar diagram subdivided bar diagram and percentage bar diagram in this video or in this chapter we will don't understand about line diagram we will directly start from simple bar diagram these are types of bar diagrams simple subdivided percentage multiple and deviations bar diagram so starting with simple bar diagrams these are those bar diagrams which are based on a single set of numerical data the different items are value are represented by different bars of different colors i am giving you one example to make you understand you can see the classes were given and their frequencies were given you must have been made in class 10th also now definition of multiple bar diagram these are constructed to represent two or more than two variables for the purpose of comparison okay so one more example for to show males females in the total or you can see in the spec these are those bar diagrams which show two or more sets of data simultaneously that means at one position that is 1991 two positions or three now this is a difference between of both simple and multiple bar diagram simple bar diagram is used for comparative study of two or more items or values of a single variable these can also be drawn either vertically or horizontally distance between these bars should be equal as you can see in this picture also now multiple bar diagram the, the, this diagram is used to make comparison between more than two variables as you can see at one place in 1991 two differences were shown at one place and same goes with 1992 1993 1994 and so on this diagram is also known as compounded bar diagram so today we will do only this that's all for today thank you very much